and very steep and very exposed. <laughs> We're Jess and Miles. In 2019, we quit our jobs to pursue a dream of long-term travel around the world. After traveling for six months, we were brought back to the U.S. due to COVID-19. We are back on the road here in the United States. We have spent the past several weeks in Washington and will be spending the next two days hiking in the Mount Baker Wilderness area. We have been really excited to explore this area. We actually came up this way last week, but once we got our enchantments permit, we obviously stopped everything and switched gears so we could take full advantage of that. But we are excited to be back, and today we're going to be hiking the Winchester Mountain Trail. So this trail is officially only three miles from the Twin Lakes Trailhead, but the road up to the trailhead is completely unmaintained and pretty bad, and we don't have a high clearance vehicle. Last time we went up a road like this in this area, we ended up with a flat tire, and it was the most expensive hike we'd ever been on. So we parked about two and a half miles from the trailhead, turning this hike into almost eight miles. So what would have been three miles is now gonna be eight miles, but from everything we've read, it's still gonna be more than worth it. All right, we have officially made it to the trail. The road wasn't too, too bad. It was really steep. There were some sections that were in pretty rough shape. There were a lot of potholes and rocks, but we did see a lot of SUVs and trucks making it up and down just fine. There was a car that bottomed out, but we probably could have made it okay. But based on our recent flat tire situation, it was better to play it safe. Based on the map of the trailhead, it's actually 2.1 miles each way with 1,300 feet of elevation gain, so it's gonna be a steep climb to the top. I'd say we're about halfway up, and between the views down onto the lakes and the views in the distance of Mount Baker, this hike is already well worth it. I can't wait to see what it looks like at the top. This trail has not messed around, but I think we're almost to the top. We have made it to the top, 6,521 feet in elevation. This hike is said to be one of the greatest rewards for the least amount of effort in the North Cascades. And we had to put in a little extra effort based on where we parked, but it still is definitely worth it. There are 360 degree views from up here. There's also this really cool fire lookout that was built back in 1935 that you can also camp in. I could only imagine camping up here with this incredible view. All right, it's almost five o'clock, and if we were parked by the trailhead, we'd probably hang out a little longer, maybe even watch sunset, because it's only two miles straight back down to the car, but since we parked about four miles away, we've got to start making our way back. It's honestly right about now, I wish we were a little bit more aggressive with our driving. So this mountain is completely covered in blueberries, and they're very ripe, and I may or may not have indulged in quite a few. I saw a couple people picking them on the way up, so I felt like it was pretty safe. Today we have come to Artist Point. There are several hikes that start from this area, and we're going to be hiking up to Table Mountain, which is around three miles round trip. We got to park at the actual trailhead today, and since it's a pretty short hike, we might even add another one in before sunset. We're only about 20 steps from the car, and I can see why these hikes don't have to be very long, because the views right here from the parking lot are unbelievable. The views from yesterday's hike we're incredible, but this definitely rivals it. These mountains feel so close. We have Shuksan right here, and then Mount Baker just right there, and we have mountains all around us. And like Miles said, we're like 20 steps in.
There's only about 700 feet of elevation gain on this hike and it seems like most of it is just right here from the parking lot. This is very steep and very exposed. <laughs> it seems like most of the elevation gain is behind us and now we are just going to be following along the ridge to Table Mountain. Also the road was closed on the way out here and all the signs said it would be closed until 4 p.m. They actually opened it at 3 and there is no one else out here on this trail. The parking lot's filling up pretty quick, but I can only imagine if that road wasn't closed, this would be a very popular hike. We made it. This is not a bad place for a PB&J dinner. <laughs> mm -hmm. The North Cascades have just blown me away. Between the hike we did in the National Park a couple weeks ago, and then these two hikes in the Mount Baker Wilderness area, these mountains are really incredible. When I was researching the Mount Baker area, I must have listed out 20 or so hike options. There were just so many, and it was really hard to narrow it down. But what's just as crazy is that we only had to hike a mile and a half to get these views. We have Mount Baker so close I feel like I could touch it and Shookson just behind me, and we can actually see Mount Rainier from up here. It's so clear today. This is amazing. As much as we'd love to stay up here for sunset, we're not exactly interested in doing that last steep section in the dark, so we're gonna head back to the car, and there's one more short little hike from the parking lot that we're hoping to get to in time for sunset. We have just come about a half a mile from the parking lot to Huntoon Point for sunset, and we made it up here just in time. You actually can see Mount Rainier in this frame. Right here, Mount Rainier. Wow. We better uh, take it in because the weather is turning. I don't know if we're gonna be seeing it from here on out. 